All right, ladies and gentlemen, Melinda is looking stunning, guys. Look how pretty she is. All right, guys, I'm going to be ultra beautiful in these videos. You're going to see me be very, very beautiful. Now, people always say I'm very beautiful. I love that. Thank you, guys. Keep the compliments coming. Give me the likes. Give me the subscriptions. Uh, give me the compliments. I really enjoy that. I'm really pleased, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I want to make sure you guys know that obviously I work very hard for you guys to make sure the content is good. That even if I just stood here doing absolutely nothing, darlings, I can make millions, darlings, because it looks so good. And if you are a good-looking person as well, maybe you can do the same thing, right? Have you thought about having a YouTube channel? Have you thought about being number one in the world like I will be? <laughs> All right, some of you guys I've seen, and some I've had fans that are like incredibly gorgeous, and I'm like, you guys are incredible. I've got a whole wide variety of fans. Some of my fans are so gorgeous. You guys can have a channel. You guys could do well too. Don't worry. Like, try it. Try it. See what it's like. But remember, guys, a couple things here. If you have a channel, you are going to get negative comments because you are somebody just putting yourself out there. You're going to, if you're good especially, because if you're not good, people will just give it a like here and there. But if you're actually good, people will, will criticize you because they want to cut you down because they think that you're going to be too powerful or too good. So, so just ignore that, guys. Uh, another thing, too, is you might get famous, right, guys? And if you're not worried about that, like if you're worried about everybody videotaping you when they see you and, and you know, following you around, like as a paparazzi, all that, if you're worried about all that and you just don't want the hassle, it might not be a good idea to have a channel. Another thing to focus on is um, you might get... Um, you might get people that start disliking you for no reason just because you have a YouTube channel. Like I have people, like I've never had an issue with people liking me because they've always been very nice. I've always been super friendly. No one's ever had an issue with me, but ever since I have my YouTube channel, no one, no people are very nice to me still. Like people love me, but but there are, I have more more hassles now because I have more people thinking, hey, he's got a channel. He's or Mar Marco's got a channel. Marco obviously too, but. Uh, Marco's got a channel, he's doing, gonna do so well, so they make fun of me, say things, whatever. Um, but but it's worth it, guys. I just ignore that, because I know those people don't have much, so I understand. I understand that they don't have much, so I know, hey, you know, I'm more than happy to still be nice to them, and be like, you know what, I totally get that, you're jealous, obviously. That's okay, I don't mind. And it doesn't happen very often, guys. It's just that when you're really famous, people are going to start hating you for being famous. But but you do have a lot of advantages, too, like being incredibly liked. Everyone in the world wanting to know you and everyone in the world wanting to be, like, on your side and in your entourage and all that. You have all that. Uh, you have people just loving uh, what your content is and you making a really remarkable, uh, remarkable impact on their lives. Um... I know, I know for a fact, I don't know for a 100% fact, but I've seen some people and the, their lives have improved incredibly, and I think it has to do with my channel, I can't say, I'm not going to name names, but I've seen some people and I, I feel, I have a feeling that, like, because I've always been about getting somebody better, I've always been about improving your life, I've always been about non-smoking, non-drinking, non-drugs, non non-coffee, Bettering yourself, and I, I'm, I'm okay with people doing that, I'm not judgmental, but, but I'm just very supportive of people breaking the habit, they want to break from drugs or whatever, so uh, I'm very supportive of all that. Uh, so yeah, so I mean, people I have, I've seen some people, I've said what I've said, so if I inspire you in any way, or you guys feel like I've done some, some major change in your life, because you guys have, have been, uh, been able to move mountains with what I've said, let me know, guys. I love that. I love that. Let me know that I've inspired you. Let me know that maybe you weren't going to be a singer and you decided to be a singer. You know, there were many times when people would come up to me and they'd tell me things and I'd tell them, hey, I've got a channel. You should do one. And they tell me that their friend has a channel and they would never do it. I'm like, you know what? Why don't you do one? Come on. Like, 
don't worry about it. Even if, even if you'd be very surprised to see how many people get famous, even though they might be considered nobodies, but they have a channel. And I wouldn't say that. I would. I, I'm very nice, so I don't judge. But some people might be very nobodies, and they have a channel. All of a sudden, they're a somebody, right? Like, if you take someone like I don't know, like, like let me think, someone. Like Jack Black, if he wasn't a famous comedian, he'd be an ordinary person and he wouldn't be very popular, I would think. But he's all of a sudden, he's like super popular, he's not ordinary, and he's famous, right? So you can be famous and all of a sudden your world changes and you're just like a baller and you're doing so well, right guys? So I wouldn't worry too much about about whether or not um, you... Um, you know, it, it's a good advantage to be a baller and to be like that. When you are someone that may, maybe you, you were too shy, maybe you felt you were a nobody. And maybe maybe if without the challenge, you would be. But if you became somebody, you would feel great, right? But another good thing about having a YouTube channel is that if you get, if you do become rich on YouTube or, uh, or TikTok where you become wealthy and you have a channel that's successful, then you're going to not have to worry about playing the lottery ever again, right? And some people are, like, it's like, it's like gambling between in a way where you're investing kind of thing in your future and not worried about losing out because you don't have to spend money for it. Well, yeah, you do, but, but it's a different kind of thing. You're earning your way, not, not lucking out. And a lot of times people don't win the lottery, so you might as well try it that way, right? All right, thank you all so much for watching. Bye now. Thank you guys.